Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, the 12th of January. Our lockdown continues, and rightly so. We must be cautious. This new variant in the virus is not at all friendly, not that the first variant was friendly either. So let us be cautious. Let us practice good common sense, sanctified common sense, as Mike Blandon puts it. I was struck in the reading this morning from Isaiah chapter 40, and the way in which God asks this rhetorical question of just how big do we think he is? And it's interesting because our measurement of distance and size is very much limited by the earth on which we live, if we have an understanding of how big the earth is. Otherwise, it's limited by the town or the village or the farm, the particular place in which we live. And I know, for example, that I could not walk to Zanin in a day. It would take me probably two days and I'd be pretty exhausted. I can't even walk to one of my good friends on a farm just outside of town in a day. I might just make it, but I would, I would be exhausted. That's the finite limit of my knowledge. And yet, Scripture says in Isaiah 40 that God places all the stars in their place. And we know that as we look out at the night sky and we see pretty much what the people of Isaiah's time would have seen, and it would they would not have comprehended just how big it is. Now that we do know, we, we know that we can measure the distance in millions of light years to some of the stars that we can see with the naked eye or with some assistance with a telescope and other stars that are so far away we cannot see them at all except that we have incredibly powerful micro, uh, um, telescopes. And of course, how far away is that? Well, here's to impress you, the speed of light is a little under, a fraction under 300,000 kilometers a second. <laughs> that's quite far and if you think then how many what's the distance when you measure it in so many light years well what's the distance that that light at 300,000 kilometers a second for every minute of every hour of every day of every week of every month for the whole year every second and to do that a few million times over that's the distance and God put it there in its place and so that rhetorical question, how big do you think God is? Well, we can hardly comprehend it. But we, we try and draw God down to our finite measurement that I can't walk to Zanin in one day. I'd be lucky if I do it in two days. I could probably walk from one end of Polokwane to the other in a day and be pretty exhausted and take many stops. That's the limit of my understanding of distance. Could it also limit my understanding of God? our understanding of God? I think it does to some extent. And so just remember, God is so big and the problems that you face are for you gigantic. But how incredibly tiny are they for God? So trust this God that we worship in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of the death and the dying all around us that we see our God is bigger and our God is in control. Do not lose faith. Be fearful, but not in a terrifying way of what is happening around us, but reach out to our God. He is there for you. Folks, have a wonderful day and try and comprehend how far is a light year. God bless.